really important that we begin to change the mindset of young people to know that your vote counts. They don't understand that the legislative arm of government is actually a co-equal arm of government. We have an uh, incredible amount of potential. Whatever it is I was doing because of my personal DNA, it had to be of an international standard. Which is what, seriously speaking, is all about. Yes, welcome. This is Seriously Speaking. I know you know, and I know you know this is 2017, right? And I also know you know that the MTN project fame has been going on since 2008. Well, if you didn't, now you know. And the truth is, we're in the month of love, yes, February. But I want to share something I truly love, music. So I'm speaking music, but I'm speaking music with people who have been in a reality show for 10 straight seasons. At least the 10th season is gonna start pretty soon. And I'm looking at it and wondering, how do you produce such wonderful voices? I know it's nice to have the natural one, but you've got to build on it. How is it that you produce eight different stars or nine different people? Some people are more of a star than the other. How is it that you even begin to try to live your reality? I'll be back in a short while with people who are behind the MTN Project Fame. This is Seriously Speaking. Project Fame West Africa is one of the most watched music talent reality TV shows in Africa and beyond. Filmed in Lagos, Nigeria and broadcast across the world via digital, terrestrial and online TV, Project Fame is seen by over 140 million viewers yearly. I thought a music reality show and one that will also teach both the contestants and the viewers at home much more than music was something that I wanted um, to do in Nigeria. Because for me, it's always, well, first let's entertain the young people, but let's also educate them, let's inform them. I and mean, I always ensure that that's what drives the things I go for. The show has featured contestants from Nigeria, Ghana, Liberia, and Sierra Leone, with the final 18 moving into the academy under the scrutiny of reputable and trained faculty members and judges and beamed live to the rest of Africa daily. The academy, the Project Film Academy, also gives a lot of satisfaction because the young people, because what we do is that we don't just teach about music. We teach them diction, um, personal finance, image, you know, I've brought a dietitian before to teach them what to eat and what not to eat. So we do a lot because as we are teaching the contestants, we know we are teaching the viewers at home. The inaugural season of Project Fame began in 2008 with 15 contestants vying for the ultimate prize. And each season has seen a winner get a share of the spotlight. We are satisfied with um, the products that we've been able to create out of um, Project Fame over the years. I mean, without Project Fame, Inyanya won't be what it is today. Inyanya auditioned in Calabar. He was singing in a karaoke bar in Calabar. You know, I mean, he's not going to deny that and see where he is today. Chidima, Chidima, I mean, I saw her recently and she's ever so grateful and praise, people like praise, and numerous others, you know, would not have come into limelight. From the best of planning, Project Film West Africa is on the pedestal that churns and delivers world-class content from a world-class production team. But sustaining the brand goes beyond expertise. MTN is actually just sponsoring 60%, 66% of the show. The other 33% we can sell to anybody. Ultima Studios has been bearing the, the, the cost of um, carrying the 33%. Mm -hmm. And um, in this last season, season nine, it was even for, far more difficult because, you know, with the exchange rates and, and things have just become very tough. As the show makes a rerun for the 10th season with a twist, millions of Project Fame enthusiasts are ready to see their favorite artist take center stage. Season 10, what we decided to do is that there were a lot of talent, you know, who didn't win, who dropped in on the wayside. So we decided to open it up again for all of them. So apart from those who are winners, anybody that gotten far, or, or didn't even go far when Project Fame would say to look, look, we'll give you another chance because this is the 10th season, so you have another chance to come and prove that term. And hopefully some of them have grown over the years. So that is the big thing about season 10. For all our viewers and all our fans, 
all over the world because indeed about 150 countries watch us online, you know. Watch out for season 10. It's going to be the biggest of all our seasons because it's the 10th one and we intend to ensure that we engage you and we make it as popular as we as you can imagine, even beyond your expectations. I'm particularly glad that you stayed tuned to see that documentary because Femi Ayeni is one person that refuses to come on set. But he's behind Ultima Studios, whether he likes it or not. <laughs> and Ultima Studios is my partner, whether they like it or not. <laughs> and uh, since Joker is already laughing, even if you didn't know that I had Joker Silva in the house, that laughter is a dead giveaway. And I have, they call her Mommy J in the house, three powerful people on the faculty that have produced some of the best singers that we have today. I have Mommy J, can I start with you? Yes. Yes, you know, my best too. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> my best too, well and know. partners in everything. In everything. <laughs> it's nice yeah. to have you on set again. This is not your first time on Seriously Speaking. You're welcome. Thank you, Adi, sir. And do I start with your left? On your left, we have T.Y. Mix. I I just found out today, 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 that his name is Timmy Dayo. <laughs> Timmy Tayo, actually. Timmy Tayo, you see? I just say T.Y. Mix because <laughs> some of Mixing. the best songs in some of, you know, it's uh, nice to have you Thank here. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, and of course, uh, my very own brother, Boye He. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do Parakpo because this is my Bini brother for real. Ben, it's nice to have you on Thank set. Thank you very much, man. But I must start with Ben. Ben is very, very wicked in the faculty. Well, we set them all straight. Mommy J is the one who, who pampers them. <laughs> uh, they need to face the harsh realities of life in the academy so mm -hmm. that when they go out there, it is not new to them. Because your face is so tight, I'm like, what has these people done to Uncle Ben? What do they call you? What do they call him in the yeah, house? Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben. Major Pay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Major Pay. Major. Because mm. the music is serious business. I mean, they can't come into heaven and not go through some fire. How will they entertain? <laughs> That is our job. Yeah, yeah. Shape in here. It's a little shape. Okay, um, Mrs. J. Well, for this, for the purpose of this interview, you are Joker Silver. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So, how did you end up on the faculty of Project Fame? Um, I got a call from Mr. Yeni. I know they had they had tried to get uh, some other music people mm -hmm. onto the project. And then, you know, he just, it's his wife actually, you know, mentioned my name to him. I said, of course, ah, what I've been looking for is actually in the family, please call her, <laughs> you know, and we had that conversation and that was it. Why did you get a buy-in? Why did you buy into this project? And you've been on since 2008 up until now, still the principal of the academy. Um, because one, I believe that young people we have a lot of talented young people in Nigeria, so much, so many, but they need to be trained. That talent needs to be honed, need, needs to be polished, you know, and it's not only the skill of how to perform that is necessary, but all the other etiquette that goes around it. So that, it's the completeness of this yes, academy. Yes, yes. And, you know, I'd always wanted to run a school of my own. I was about to start it. So it was just, for me, it was a godsend. Mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. So, but you see, I wonder, you, say, you talk about talents. Maybe that's why I go to TY Mix. You sing, you, you produce for real musicians <laughs> before you produce for people who are aspiring. I mean, and then you come and judge people who are aspiring to be musicians. Mm -hmm. Don't you think sometimes it's misplaced before somebody gets up and says, I want to go and try? How do you know? Well, if you have it, you have it. You know, you have to, you need to have something in you for starters, you know, then we'll now talk about developing that thing. And one of the things we do before the show itself is to find those who have it so that we don't put people like Uncle Ben <laughs> in, in too much work, you know, so. Because you do the audition. Yes, yeah. we go through that process of finding those who have it first and foremost. So you now get into the academy and we'll go through the process of refining what you have, beat you into shape. That's where where Uncle Ben comes in to make sure that you're... My own fear with reality shows really is, I mean, I'm sure from the first one, from the videos that we saw, the first one, thousands, second one, more thousands, and now they are running into several millions. It's like everybody wants to sing. Is that good or bad? Because they believe in the venture. Um, Project Fame has stayed the longest, and um, they've seen what each member of the faculty, and of course, what the judges can bring on the platform. And um, it's no child's play. Um, if you eventually don't get in, you, you get trained, 
in etiquette or voice or uh, as the case may be, whatever it is. So that when you come in, you're absolutely ready. We know of contestants who have been here, what, four, five, six times, and they got in. I mean, the one I remember is, is Geoffrey in season seven. He auditioned for seven years and he won. So it was a lesson for him. Oh, I will learn from this, I will learn from that. All those were not so lucky, but mm -hmm. they keep coming. Tell me, what, 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 what hurts you the most in the house? You've seen all sorts, you've seen people cry mm. when they didn't get it, but you mm. personally, have you felt sad that some people didn't win? Oh yes, oh yes, and um, <laughs> yes, I mean, that, that's the honest truth. And I do know that there was um, a particular contestant that didn't win, and there was a particular contestant that did win, and you could see... And you're not sharing that with us, are you? No, I'm not sharing it. <laughs> <laughs> but you could, you, you could actually tell that because, you know, there, there, are, there are all kind of politics that goes on amongst the contestants, you know, they, because, yes, you, you, you vote out the people that you find are your own contestants. Oh, Do you now understand? I get it. Yes. Now I get it. You know, so there was a particular contestant that was voted out a particular year. I, I just broke down in tears. I really wept, you know, because she was so fantastic. She it's was female. amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, 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 but she's working now. She's doing very well. She's in broadcasting now. Mm. And, you know, she's, she's still pursuing her music career. And the person who won, haha. We don't know. Yes, let's keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so these things happen, you know, as people go out to try to take forms now, yes. TY Mix, what would you tell? Because some of, some of these um, people who come in here, mm -hmm. you've helped them do some of their productions, haven't yes. you? Yes. So how, what should they have in mind? You've done so many auditions. Give us a scoop. What works? <laughs> well, well, I think you have to come up with something different. You have to come up with, um, first you have to be sure of yourself, you know, then you have to be sure that you're in for it, you're, you're, you're going into it for the right reasons, you know, because it's a long process. Mm -hmm. And um, it's not just a function about being good, it's also a function of how well are you able to relate to other people, mm -hmm. how well are you able to socialize, how well are you able to communicate with people who are mm -hmm. watching you, viewers at home. Because it gets to a point in the competition where even we as the judges cannot help you or save you, you know. Oh, that's news. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, because people thought that it actually depends, how many, what percentage depends on the judges? You form them. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. Um, a lot of times, the voting um, um, decisions made by the fans out there are based on what the judges, the advice that the judges leave. Ah. Um, and so many times we keep telling them, look, once the judges approve of your performance, it basically means that your fan base is going to increase. All you just need to so do... So impress the judges. Yes, impress the judges, come to the academy and take care of the rest rest of your co-contestants. Mm -hmm. Then they'll love you for it. You know, T.Y. says something about going in for the right reasons. Have, do you find that some people go in for the wrong reasons? Oh, Joking. yes. A lot of people come in, they come what, in for say, the... Share with us, what are the right reasons, what are the wrong reasons? <laughs> well, the, the right reasons are that you're coming in to be trained, to, to, to get polished. You know, those are the right reasons. The wrong reasons are, oh, I'm going to win that car. Mm. I'm going to win the money. I'm going to be a superstar. I'm going to be a superstar <laughs> and I'm going to do everything possible to make sure that other people don't get in. Wow. So one mm -hmm. of the things that we try to, to teach them, mm -hmm. and, you know, especially with this last lot, they learned it. One season they, the, nine. They listen, the season nine, season nine, they learned it, was the fact that stop voting out your competition. Otherwise, it's no longer a competition. Try and keep the, 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 your competition in the game so that when you win, you know that you have won against the best. So the truth is, it's not the same as regular reality shows because a reality show, you advise to vote out your competition. Mm -hmm. TY Mix. Not at all. This is a show with a difference because it goes beyond the takeaways, you know. I, when I say takeaways, I the mean the gifts, things you the, learn. The, the, the perks. Yeah, well, the gifts, the money, the car, but even when you don't win the money and the car, there are lots of things you learn. I want each of you to tell me how this is different from any other reality show. First of all, I know it's lasted this long. It's the longest running reality show. How is it different? It's the Academy. Uh, <sighs> yeah. The reality of the Academy is beautiful. Uh, we don't know each other from Adam, and here we are, either being friends or enemies. But on that platform, we're actually competing. When we come back, we reassess what we have done. But in the end, I've made a, a, a true friend. 
Oh, right. So yeah. what's different about it this day? Um, you have the principal, principal yes. forever, principal <laughs> for life. <laughs> I think for me, it's um, interacting with the young people, seeing, you know, helping them to, to um, shape their, their dreams, their hopes, and also help and guiding them um, and advising them on how to deal with fame. Mm. Fame is key to succeeding in this industry, but it can turn around and bite you. So you need to be able to handle it. And that's another thing that we do on Project Fame. Mm. T.Y. Timmy Tayo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. I think I think is the fact that you know you watch these contestants grow over the weeks. I think for me that's that's very rewarding. You know, you see them change. Yes, yeah, you, you see know. them transform. You yeah. know, you see them perform with more elegance. You know, they some of them become more confident in themselves, and some of them their transfer of energy is is is, is smoother. You know, and. I really like that about the show. And you can't predict. For every year, it's always different. For every contestant, it's different. You know? So I think that keeps it fresh for me every single time. You are the one that sees them most because you're always in the house with them, right? <laughs> you see them transform and you see all this there. So what is the advice you give to anybody who manages to make it to the house? Just be ready for the rainy day because it will always rain. But in the end, <laughs> when, when you come... So what's the best umbrella for that rain? <laughs> it's patience. Who. But I must thank you for coming on the show. I appreciate thank it. You for and I appreciate us. what you're doing. Thank Obviously, there's something in that show that you guys have been there for nine years in a row. So that's we something for it. stability. Thank you for being on the show and thank, thank you for right. watching. Thank you. Those who are watching. But next week, we're going to bring some of the winners here so that you can see the work that has been done on some people on Project Fame. We'll see you again next week. Bye.